हेलो वेलकम टू एन पी टी एल एन ओ सी एन इंट्रोडक्टरी कोर्स ऑन पॉइंट सेक्टोलॉजी पार्ट टू सो टुडे वी विल स्टडी वॉलमन कॉम्प्रैक्टिफिकेशन मॉड्यूल थर्टी फोर एस मोटिवेटेड लास्ट टाइम we shall make a blanket assumption that the space x tau is a t1 space as before let wx denote the collection of all ultra closed filters on x we also have introduced this uh, map function phi from x to w x namely taking any point x take the atomic filter fx which is which we know that is ultra closed filter because x is a t1 space we propose to topologize w x so that the pair phi comma w x becomes a compactification of x recall the compactification is actually an equivalence class but we keep on saying that you pick up any representative that is also compactification and the compactification satisfies that the map v from x to whatever space you are taking is an embedding such that the image of that embedding is dense in the whole space okay the whole space wx is compact so these are the condition i am just recalling that's all so going towards topologizing wx let us introduce some notation here for each subset a of x define a plus to be all ultra closed filters in x which contain a a must be an element of that a is an element of this ultra closed filter so this collection of all such ultra closed filters will be denoted by a plus the following lemma on this notation is very simple but very useful also for us a is in f if and only if f is in a plus so this is the definition of a plus empty set plus is empty because no filter contains empty set x plus is the whole space because all ultra closed filters in particular all filters contain x so these are straight forward a intersection b plus is a intersection a plus intersection b plus so this needs little bit seeing how take a ultra closed filter which contains the intersection then just by being a filter it will contain both a as well as b therefore that closed ultra closed filter belongs to a plus as well as b plus conversely if a closed ultra closed filter contains a as well as b then the intersection again being a filter the intersection will be also inside that filter therefore that filter belongs to a intersection b plus okay so this is also there is no ultra closed filter uh, involved here but here when you come to open sets we have that one namely if u and v are open subsets of x then u union v plus is u plus union v plus okay so once again if f contains this element u union v then we know that one of the u must be inside f which is same thing as saying f belongs to either u plus or v plus 
the converse part is easy once f contains u it will contain u union v which is a superset similarly if f contains v it is superset u plus v will be there okay so this way is easier uh, this way needs that the criterion that we have for ultra closed filters okay so this is what i have written down here so let us go through one and two are obvious just set theoretic thing definition the third one is what i have seen i have i will repeat it f belongs to a intersection b plus okay by one this means that a intersection b is in f that's the definition anyway since f is a filter this implies a belong a and b are inside f because they are supersets hence f is inside a plus intersection b plus so these steps are completely reversible because if a and b are in f intersection is there that is the word okay so the fourth statement as i told you it is a consequence of that proposition which character which gives you that u and v are open subset okay and u union v is there then either u plus is there or i not either i have one of them u or v must be there okay so this was proposition 7.64 which was uh, proved separately for ultra closed filters okay so property this especially the three property three it just means that the family of all this a plus is where a is an open subset of the topology a topology on x so this property tells you it is closed under finite intersection okay so that is the important property for us okay so look at b hat such that all u plus where u is a tau now i am not taking arbitrary subsets i am taking only open subsets look at this collection this collection has is the ha as a property it's closed under finite intersection therefore it forms a base for a unique topology tau hat on wx namely all that i have to do is take arbitrary union of members of b hat that will be topology for x topology for tau tau hat namely topology tau hat namely on wx okay so there are so many ways of giving topology we have to just justify that this topology is the right one right so that is the task now the set wx with this topology tau hat generated by the base b hat is a compact t1 space we are not so much worried about t1 ness but compactness is the first thing we need okay moreover the function phi from x to wx which is set theoretic in uh, injection already defines an embedding of phi x inside wx okay and the image phi x being dense okay with phi x contained inside wx being dense okay so that will complete the statement that phi comma wx is a compactification of x actually this term says the t1 compactification so the first thing is to see that wx is compact to see that a wx is compact for any space compact it is enough to prove that an open cover from a base you fix one base for the topology take any open cover from that base members of that base if that admits a finite sub cover then x will be compact this is a standard result that we are going to use now 
So, we have fixed this base, we will take that base itself b hat, okay. take members of b hat which cover w x and let us see that it admits a finite sub cover. Okay, ui i belong to i be a family of open subsets in tau such that w x is union of u i plus. In case I am making a sub case here, in case there is a finite subset j of i such that x itself is contained inside the corresponding u j's, okay. then it follows that by, by property 4, okay, this is a finite collection, so w x is equal to union of u j pluses because x plus will be equal to union of u j plus. We have proved it for 2 at a time, but that can be uh, immediately generalized to n, any finite number, right? That is what it is. X, you take x plus, x plus is w x. So, that will be equal to union u j plus. Now, this is a finite cover. So, we are done. The second case is, suppose this is not the case. What is the meaning of that? That there is no finite family out of the, the uj's that are ui's that we have chosen, okay, which will cover x. Remember the ui pluses are covering wx. Now I am talking about ui's being covering x. Why should happen? It's, there is no need. We are not assuming x is compact of, after all, right. So suppose there is no such finite subcover. So, that case remains. So, that is the case we are going to address in a standard way. You know, this kind of argument is used several times in topology, especially when dealing with compact spaces. So, we may assume that no finite subfamily of ui cover x. By De Morgan law, this just means that the complement of this family ui's, right, members of this family is a family of closed sets with finite intersection property. No finite intersection of these complements can be empty because the corresponding uh, members would have covered the x, right. So, it has finite intersection property. Therefore, there exists an ultra closed filter G on X which contains the closed filter generated by this family as a base. Any family of members which have finite intersection property will generate a filter that is automatically closed filter because these are closed subsets. Every closed filter is contained in an ultra closed filter and that is what I am, I am denoting by G. Let us say that this G after all is a member of Wx, so it must be inside Ui plus for some i inside i because Ui plus is a cover for Wx. What does this mean? By the very definition of Ui plus, this means this Ui is inside G. Remember G is a super, you know, it is a larger filter which contains which contains the filter generated by these elements therefore all the ui pluses are inside g in particular whatever ui plus comes from here that is also there but ui and okay this ui plus and its complement cannot be both be inside g okay so g belong g belongs sorry g belongs to ui plus means that ui is inside g right but g contains ui complement so that is not possible because no filter will contain both set and its complement so compactness of wx is proved 
let us now prove that wx is a t1 space uh, that comes uh, very easily right now if it is not a t1 space what does that mean there exists a pair of points inside the space now they are now ultra close filter distinct points means f1 is not equal to f2 such that every open set u in x because now i am looking at basic open subsets around f1 okay they will be like open subsets in u and then u plus f1 will be inside u plus but f2 is also inside u plus there will be such a f1 and f2 whenever you take a neighborhood of f1 it will be a neighborhood of f2 also so there will be such a pair it may happen starting with f1 f2 it may not happen just because it is a t1 not a t1 space somewhere it is happening that is the whole idea somewhere it is happening okay so f1 is in u plus implies f2 is in u plus okay now these are b plus elements of u plus or b plus so b hat right i have denoted b hat so don't get confused now you take b as a base for f2 consisting of closed subsets of x because by definition every ultra closed filter must have a base consisting of closed subsets okay from earlier theorem we get if we take a member of this uh, base c then the complement which is an open subset that cannot be in f2 because the member is in f2 f2 is not in u plus is the same thing as saying that u is not in f2 right is f2 is not in u plus by this choice you know f1 cannot be in u plus right f1 is not in u plus which just means that u is not in f1 if u is not in f1 this is where i have to use this criteria given any open set u or u complement must be inside the closed ultra closed filter so u belongs to f u is not in f1 implies u complement which is c inside f1 so what we have proved here we have proved that this base which is for f2 is completely contained inside f1 every member is here therefore the filter generated by b will have to be contained inside f1 because f1 is a filter okay we started with two ultra closed filters right so one cannot be contained inside other okay or they are equal so the whichever way you are contradicting because you have started with two different ultra closed distinct ultra, ultra closed filters okay so if we are just uh, just watch out this one okay if you are just uh, doing these things with uh, uh, just ultra filters all right could you have done this one can you get this if you keep examining these kind of things so where is the really the role of ultra closed filter is coming up okay to show the continuity of phi is the next task and then there will be one more namely to show that phi is a closed map or an open map that will complete the embedding okay finally we have to show that it is dense also oh, yeah so to show that phi is continuous it is enough to show that inverse image of basic open sets is open okay so if you take an a, a basic open set we look like u plus where u is an open subset of phi okay and u is an open subset sorry u is an open subset of x right 
what is phi inverse of x phi what is phi inverse of u plus remember what is phi phi is x going to fx where fx is the atomic filter so start with an atomic filter it will come from x because there is one one mapping right so phi inverse of u plus will be just a point there and that point must be <laughs> inside u right because u belongs to fx if and only if x belongs to u so these are just you know phi inverse of u plus is just the or the original set to u right so in u is open so continuity of phi for all not only that you observe this just means that u plus intersection phi x is precisely phi of u because inside phi x we only have the atomic filters the atomic filter containing the whole of u just means that x is inside u so it is phi u phi u is equal to u plus intersection phi x is stronger than just saying this one but because this is just an embedding these are all okay and now this i can use this one again it remains to show that phi x is dense but once again it is enough to show that phi x meets every member of b hat you see phi x is dense means it should it should meet every non empty open set but inside a non empty open set there will be some member of b hat right base so if it means basic open set that is enough right this follows from this equation take any basic open set phi of x intersection u plus is u phi of u so it is non empty over so this is so this just equation proves density continuity as well as openness take an open set any open set of phi okay image of phi is u plus which an open set intersection phi x so it is in, inside phi x it is open phi u is open by definition phi x the image of phi x takes the topology or uh, the induced topology everything is open if and only if it is intersection of an open subset inside the larger space so so this proves the openness it proves the continuity as well as density so those things were very easy to obtain so let us complete now the definition of wallman compactification as i told you earlier a compactification is a certain equivalence class right but here we are we are usually taking one particular representative all the time okay anything which is equivalent to this one will be also called wallman compactification in general so here we have first of all what we have starting with any t1 space we constructed this wx which is just the collection of all uh, ultra closed filters on x with a very specific topology with the base consisting of u plus where u is open subset of x okay so that compact space along with the the embedding of x inside that this is called wallman compactification of the t1 space x you can remember that wx is automatically t1 so here are a few remarks the t1 ness of x is only used in getting the function phi from x to wx okay why because i start with x and then i construct fx but why should fx be an ultra closed filter it is an ultra filter why it's closed that's where i have used that x is t1 so singleton x is closed 
So, singleton x is the base for the whole of f x, any atomic filter, it is a base. So, that is one way immediately to get the function itself we have used. Automatically, it is injective, okay, there is no problem. Whereas, the topology on w x is always t 1. The T1 ness of x is not used in this one. Okay. One does not know when this topology on Wx is housed off. Why I am making this comment? Usually, one would like to know because we are in some sense obsessed with uh, housed offness. So, would it be housed off under some suitable nice condition? Yeah. If it is freely T1, by putting little extra condition, maybe you will get its housed off, right. But here I am saying that one does not know when this topology on Wx is housed off. So, next time we shall continue to study the universal property of Wallman compactification. Remember the universal property of stone check compactification and in there is a universal property of even some kind of universal property of one point compactification also this will be somewhat similar to that of course in each case it will be slightly different okay thank you